What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is another video of keto bento box lunches that I've been packing for my husband all week. It's Monday through Friday. They are very easy. Some of them are like, you know, heat up in the microwave. Some of them are just eat cold, but let's go ahead and get started with Monday. So I got this lamb sage sausage just at a local farm. You don't have to use lamb. You could just use any type of sausage. I literally just had this in my freezer. So that's why I'm using it. And then if you remember from last week's video, I made like these zucchini muffins and I actually used some of the dough and put them in these like rings. You can use like mason jar rings and I baked them in a round circles. So that way I could make a sandwich out of them. So I just put some pepper jack cheese, some of the lamb sausage I cook, a fried egg, and I'm putting some butter on it to keep it moist. And that is a breakfast sandwich. So I want to make a video for the zucchini bread recipe, but for now I'll just write the recipe down below in the description box for you guys, since I don't have that recipe video up for you guys yet. Now I'm putting one of these jumbo silicone liners that I really love because it fits right in this compartment. And I'm using the yogurt that we love this is my favorite yogurt ever. I'm going to use some vanilla cream stevia drops, which I just get them off of Amazon and I'll have that link down below. And then I'm just gonna put some frozen blueberries on top. So it's just a really easy like parfait thing. Now I have this like parchment paper bag that I decided to put the sandwich in. So that way Alvin could easily take it out and just heat it up in the microwave because the stainless steel bento box cannot be microwaved obviously. Now we're going to make some banana chocolate chip like protein balls. I totally just made this up. So I'm eyeballing everything, but it's almond butter, almond flour, the pure sweetener that I like. I got some banana extract from Walmart, I believe. And then I'm putting some scoops of collagen. Then I'm going to melt some butter and add that in, as well as some chocolate chips from Lily's, which are some of our favorite, and some coconut flour. I kind of figured out the recipe and I'll have it down below for you guys. But this is how most of my recipes start out, where I just eyeball everything. And then when I make a recipe video for you guys, I usually try it out and write down exactly what I used, exactly what I measured. I think I also put a pinch of salt in these because, you know, sweet and salty is really good, but I just rolled them up. And of course it'd be better if you put them in the fridge to harden, but those are the protein balls and the sandwich and the parfait. So that was the lunch for Monday. And Alvin actually really liked that sandwich. It was easy to just pull out of the bento box, put in the microwave, heat up, and then he easily was able to eat it. So I packed it in his lunch bag with these reusable utensils, which he has been loving because they're stainless steel. I will have all of the supplies I'm using linked down below in the description box. So you guys can also find it if you're interested. And then I have been writing a joke and a nice note of like words of affirmation for Alvin and putting it in his bag because I recently reread the five love languages book and Alvin and I are both words of affirmation. So it's just really great to have that like, you know, cute note with the joke and then something nice to say for him to open with his lunch. Okay, next up is Tuesday. So for Tuesday, I got out my waffle iron. Now this is a like regular sized waffle iron I got for like $5 on Black Friday years ago. It still works, but I will link a mini waffle iron down below for you guys because the mini one would be perfect for this. Now I'm making like a chaffle recipe. So it's an egg, some mozzarella cheese, some almond flour, some Parmesan cheese, and I'm putting some spices in it. We're making a chaffle pizza. So I just go ahead and put this in my waffle iron. I will have the recipe linked down below for you guys because I got this off of Pinterest and I'm just going to go ahead and cook that waffle until done. If you guys haven't tried chaffles yet, they are so good and you can do so many different things. You can make dessert ones, you can make savory ones. They work really well as like a bread substitute. Now I'm using this jar of Raoul's sauce. You guys saw that I got this last week and I am still using it. It goes so far and it is so delicious. I cooked up some green peppers and mushrooms and onions and topped those and then some mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni. Of course, you could put whatever pizza toppings that you love on it. I just made it like, you know, a pizza and we love veggies on our pizza. 
I'm just spooning this into the Monbento box because Alvin will have to heat this up when he is at work. And I just kind of stacked it on top. I figured he could eat it probably like with a fork as like a casserole type of thing. Next, we're making broccoli salad. So it's just raw broccoli, red onion, shredded sharp cheddar cheese, a little bit of these dried cranberries because they are high carb, and then some mayo, apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and this erythritol that I've been using to sweeten it. I actually just got this at Walmart, so you guys can probably find it there as well. Give that a good mix and taste. So he had the pizza truffle and the broccoli salad. Okay, so I'm making him a little dessert on the side. We're just doing the yogurt again, but I'm putting the banana extract in it. And then I'm going to layer it with strawberries and put one of these energy balls, just the ones that I made from yesterday. I'm just breaking it up on top to kind of make it like a little dessert parfait. Okay, now we're on to Wednesday. So for Wednesday, I'm doing something brand new. I had so much zucchini in my garden and I've been wondering like what to do with all my zucchini. I made zucchini lasagna the other day, but I found this recipe for zucchini chips and it was actually so easy. I just used my mandolin to slice it very, very thin and then you put it on paper towels to get a lot of the moisture out and then I just put it on parchment paper on a sheet pan and I sprayed it with this like coconut oil spray that I got from Aldi and I just did some salt and pepper. And then you have your oven set at like 275 degrees, I think. And I literally had these in there. I think it was like two and a half hours. And I'll show you what they look like after we build the colored green wrap. What I like about these videos is that I can tell you guys what mistakes I've made or things that I would change out. Now, if you really like strong flavors, then totally make these collard wraps. If you don't, I would definitely use like lettuce instead, like a good leaf lettuce, because we found out that the collard greens are just kind of very strong and tough for our liking. So when I make wraps again, I will be using a different lettuce or something to wrap. Now I put some spreadable cheese on the bottom that I got from my recent Aldi haul. It's like garlic and herb. And then I did some cucumber, red pepper, some sliced cheese and some turkey. And then I'm just putting another collard wrap on top, which again, I thought was just overkill. <laughs> and then I'm wrapping it up like a burrito and sticking some little toothpicks into it to keep it from falling apart. And then I just cut it in half. And I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. It looks like it would taste good, but for me, and for Alvin, the collard wrap is just not something that we love raw. So use lettuce instead, like a leaf lettuce would be perfect. And then you've got yourself a good wrap. Now I'm just putting these silicone liners with some cucumber and some ranch. I will have the ranch recipe for you guys linked down below and probably on the side here. This is a super easy ranch that you can make. Now we're making another dessert. I'm making a peanut butter chia pudding that was delicious. So I had almond milk, some peanut butter, some chia seeds, and then I'm going to add some of the pure sweetener that I really like, some vanilla extract, and I'm just pureeing it all with my immersion blender. I went ahead and stuck it in the fridge for an hour or two so it could thicken up. And while it was thickening up, my chips are done. So these zucchini chips turned out so delicious. But another tip of a mistake that I made is I wouldn't put them in here with the lunch. I would put them in a bag and not refrigerate them because otherwise they got soggy being with the rest of the lunch. So definitely like fill up that other compartment with something else and put these chips on the side in a bag. And then you're gonna have amazing keto chips with your club. 
Now that the chia pudding thickened up, I went ahead and whipped some heavy cream and I didn't add anything. I didn't add sweetener or anything. It's just literally whipped heavy cream and I built a little like pudding parfait thing in this little thermos and then I topped it with whipped cream and I just used my vegetable peeler to shave some 90% dark chocolate on it. This was so good you guys, you have to make this. Now we're on to Thursday. So for Thursday, I'm making a chicken quesadilla, which is my husband's favorite meal of this week. So these egg thins with cauliflower, I got in my recent Aldi haul and they were only like $2, I think, and they're really good. So I went ahead and shredded some chicken just in my Instapot and then I'm laying one of the wraps down. I'm putting some shredded cheese and then the chicken and then I cooked some peppers and onions and I'm going ahead and putting more cheese, some chipotle chili pepper, and topping it with another tortilla wrap thing. Now, I didn't wanna make a mess, so I decided to put it on a plate and melt the cheese a little bit, so that way when I put it in the lunch box, it wasn't gonna, you know, cheese wasn't gonna fall everywhere. And then I folded it in half and cut it in half, and I went ahead and made another one of these. So there's technically like two of those whole ones in the box and then i put some lime and some spring onions and cilantro and i filled up these containers i got these at tj maxx just the other day i filled one with salsa one with sour cream and i made some guacamole really quick and then i also added some jalapenos to the quesadilla but the guacamole is just avocado lime juice and i just used like pre-made salsa to mix with it it was really easy my husband said this was the best meal of the week. So he loved this at those wraps. I'm definitely going to get for more meals in the future. They were totally worth it. He literally was like mind blown. He thought it was so, so good. Apparently I lost the clip for the other parts of this meal, but I just did some salami and some blueberries, carrots and cucumbers and more of the ranch. And then I had some moon cheese that I got from TJ Maxx that we had never tried before. So it was just a bunch of like odds and ends. I don't know how I missed that clip, but I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Okay, on a Friday, the last meal. So I'm making a chicken like peanut cabbage salad. So I just shredded some cabbages. You could totally just get a coleslaw mix to make this easier. I added red pepper, some spring onions, some cilantro, and then I had the leftover shredded chicken from when I used some, I just had like shredded like two whole breasts in my Instapot and it's nice cause then I can use it throughout the week. Then I'm doing sesame oil, apple cider vinegar, extra light oil, coconut aminos, fresh garlic, some fresh ginger, which here's a hint, keep it in your freezer and it won't go bad. Plus you can easily like put it over this like microplane and it is so easy. So that's what I do with mine. And then I added some peanut butter and some erythritol to sweeten it up a little bit. And then I just pureed it with my immersion blender and that made the like dressing for this like cabbage salad. It's so good, you guys, you have to like try this one out. I love Asian type slaw recipes. Then I'm just going to top it with some more spring onions and cilantro and a lime. Another new Aldi find is this cauliflower dip. It kind of reminded me of like a crab dip or a pimento cheese, but it tasted, it was like the Southwest version. And then I just cut up some radishes for him to dip them in and the last two protein balls that I had from Monday. And now we're making spaghetti squash cakes. So some avocado oil, salt and pepper. It was just leftover spaghetti squash, garlic powder, thyme, and egg. And I actually added a little bit of almond almond flour then because I realized that it wasn't the consistency that I wanted it to be. And then I fried these on both sides and they ended up tasting almost like potato pancakes. I topped it with some parsley and a side of sour cream. And so you would like heat these up and then dip them in the sour cream. They were really good. Even though they're kind of falling apart a little bit, they tasted like mashed potato pancakes. 
All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next Sunday for another Keto Bento Box video. Bye, everyone.